Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just recently bought a new D850. Um, previously, I used the um, D810. It's a 35, uh, 36 megapixel camera, the ones that I had before. And I just upgraded, I just purchased this new D850. It has, I think, 45 megapixel. I think besides this, I, I don't know what's new. I think it's the, the dynamic range and the several other features are uh, better. So, um, but today I just want to show you the um, unboxing. Um, so, not really talk about the specs and stuff, but that's for another video. Let's go ahead and open this uh, new camera here. So, they gave me this uh, sh uh, screen protector here. Uh, what else? Bunch of like warranty papers and stuff. By the way, I purchased this for uh, 20,000 uh, RMB, which is about uh, 32, 3100 um, US dollar. It's about the same price as in the US, so this is the uh, instruction manual for the camera. I'm not gonna take this out, I'm not gonna be able, I'm not gonna use this. And then, let me show you the uh, it's a USB 3 cable here. That's the charging cables here. Check this out so you can see. Uh, nothing special. This is for the. Um, actually, to be honest, I don't know what this is. I think it's for the cable holder for tethering. And I, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's for to separate the cables here when you tether. This is the battery. Take this out. I think they should be the same as the DA10, but I'm not sure. I think they they said something. No, it's the same. I believe it's the same. He was trying to, the vendor is trying to sell me like a new battery, but I said I, I, I have several still and they still work. This is the charger. By now I have approximately three or four chargers already from previous cameras. So, yeah. This one looks pretty new, so I like it. So coming to the main camera, okay this is my new toy, alright looks good, let me take this thing out here, um, looks almost the same, uh, design wise pretty much the same. Just different specs and just a little, just 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 little details are probably different. I think they changed some of the modes here, so I think you have to be careful because I'm so used to the, this one, the wheel thing, and if I use the new one, I have to be careful. I think the I, they changed the ISO mode here and and the the, the shooting mode here, uh, so slightly different. Let me. Let me check here. It's the same. Except for, I think this button is new. I don't know. I have yet to check out what this is. I think this is for, uh, for video. Oh, and this button, I have yet to find out what this is, uh, to be honest. 
I haven't done a lot of research like bef uh, before buying this uh, new camera, uh, but I need it uh, to upgrade my system here a little bit, but it looks good. Um, tomorrow I have a new gig, so I'm happy to try it out tomorrow with this new camera. Okay, um, just before I finish uh, the purchase, the vendor told me that. Oh, by the way, do you need a new uh, uh, some extra memory cards and stuff? I said like, no, I have a lot, so I don't need it. And he told me um, now they introduced like a new card. It's called XQD or something like this. And I said like, uh, sure, like um, maybe I should buy one because the, usually normally what I do is I shoot on a C, uh, on the um, on the DA10 with the uh, CF card and and back it up on um, the SD uh, card slot so just as a safety backup in case if you just shoot only on for example on SD and if this card uh, gets corrupted for whatever reason and, and you lose all your photos so so normally I shoot with um, a CF and back it up on SD but for the new camera, I didn't know they introduced this uh, XQD. Is that an XQD? Yeah, XQD card. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll buy one. And to my surprise, I didn't know. It costs over, like the 128 gigabyte costs over 300 bucks US dollar. I was shocked. So that was the catch buying this new camera that the XQD card cost 300 bucks. This is this is this is crazy. I mean, and I checked online and see if I can find uh, cheaper alternatives. And apparently, they only have the Sony uh, and the, the Lexer. So there's not too much option, and they're really expensive. So here it is. This 128 gigabyte here in China costs around like. Uh, uh, 300 bucks, yeah, 300 dollars, 310 dollars, and it's crazy for just a card. This is crazy. Can't believe this. If I knew about this, I probably delay the purchase for this camera just because of this stupid card that I had to buy. You know, in order to use this camera. I mean, I, I don't really have to. I can use the SD card, but I always back it up just in case it's safer. This card. Let me show you. This is this card costs 300 US dollar. Look at it. This is crazy. I don't know. Is this made of diamond or what? I hope later on they uh, will. They have more competitors and selling like, cheaper like, brands of this, this type of XQD. XQD cards, so yeah. But right now, I I didn't have an option, so I had to buy one. Anyways, let me show you. Uh, let me mount a lens on this camera. My 50 millimeter 1.4. Okay, this is what it looks like. The new D850. So tomorrow I have a gig, I'm gonna try it out tomorrow and see what the picture quality is like and um, yeah, I can't wait to use it. So, Well, here it is. Uh, thanks for watching guys. By the way, this is this is not uh, Yongno, it's just, uh, this is the Nikon, but uh, I just didn't have another lens cap so I just, <laughs> just, just used this one. Anyways, here it is. So this is the old one. The e, uh, D810, this is the D850. So I'm gonna have some fun tomorrow with this on my new gig, and I'm gonna probably show you some image, uh, some images from a shoot, and then probably another video to analyze the pictures versus the old uh, D810. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.